Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Old Panorama Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is right here. It is Nova Pilsner. You can see that it's in the Slim Pounder can, which means, because it's from here in Saskatchewan, it's most likely a Minhas product. Oh look it is, Minhas! Produced by Minhas Sask, Br Sask Brewery, Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh, support Minhas, support Saskatchewan, product of can. So, the, they're on Skip the Dishes, right? And they're actually one of the furthest breweries away from my house. So I ordered two 12 packs from them because it would get me seven beers to review. And their, tw their mixed packs are on there as, um, as the craft pack, the flavorful pack, and the lager pack. So I ordered a lager pack and a craft pack because the craft pack was supposed to come with an amber, an IPA, a dill pickle, and the espresso stout, which I already have. But the flavorful one came with uh, all stuff I've already had for the most part. So I was like, okay, so we'll order these. Then I got a call from the brewery. The brewery's like, hey, we have, we have several different ones. So we want to make sure of what we're sending you. And I said, okay, well, one 12-pack should be the lager box. And the other one should be the craft box. Oh, so you want two of the lager boxes? No. One of them should be the lager box that has the Nova beers as well as your your lagers. And the other one should be the one that comes with the dill pickle beer. Okay, and they hung up. When it got here, it was two cases of this stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, this is 5.5% alcohol by volume. Now, Nova, I don't know what, it, it seems to be like their premium craft line. You can call it a premium craft line. It says Pilsner Plus, 5.5% uh, alcohol. And really, that's the only information on here. This doesn't even have... This doesn't even have the message from Moni telling you not to drink if you're pregnant and all that. It's it's almost as if this one is the one that's trying the furthest, to be the furthest away from uh, a product from them. Like that they're they're not admitting to you that it's them type of thing. Hmm. So My wife's been using my my glassware lately as uh, at night for her her water and stuff. And uh, I took my glasses upstairs today to clean them. And uh, I cleaned them in the sink. Normally, I normally what I would do is I would uh, clean them down here with a neutral cleaner, then rinse them out a whole bunch, and that's it. But they're they had been, um, they'd been left. There was some stickiness around the rim and all that. So I took them upstairs to clean them, which means they actually got cleaned with dish soap. And I guess they weren't rinsed as well as I thought because there is some stickiness on the sides. So they're sitting to some and the head faded quick, but I don't think the head was going to last. It was very, very poppish. It was like, so, I mean, maybe my next beer, I'll find out if it was my cup or the beer, but visually, there's like no head skim at all left. Um, crystal clear, there is carbonation moving in there. You can hear a snap, crackle, pop, even with no head. Scent out of the glass first. Very sweet. Um very sweet with like hints of green apple. That's not something I should be smelling. So I'm, I'm selling some of the things that I have here, right? Uh, I do have some things that I have for different reasons. I had bought this guy here for when I was going to do video game streaming and then I just, my video games all got sold before we moved. Um, 
And then, like I said, things happened. And I need to make some money. So I had this up on Facebook Marketplace. It's $288 new. $288 new. It's still wrapped. I bought it. I just never used it. So I put it up for $120 and I had a guy go, hey, you want to take $80? i am like, you know what, buddy? I am desperate for cash right now so that I don't default on any loans or anything. But I'm already taking $160 plus tax hit on this. I don't think at this moment I want to take a $200 plus tax hit on this. So no, no, I don't want $80 cash. Maybe in a week or so when I'm getting more and more desperate, maybe. Right now, no. Green apple. That's not. Cheers. Now, see, this one doesn't have orange peel or coriander in it, and I think that's the reason why I can taste the butteriness and the slight green apple to it. I think the the orange peel and the coriander hide brewing faults. Because this has some brewing faults in it. Um, now, is it that I'm picking them up because it's warm? And if it was cold, I wouldn't. Well, I could see that. I could see that because a lot of macro beers have brewing faults. Well, not brewing faults per se, but have... Flavors that are considered brewing faults, be it wet cardboard or, or you can start to taste the corn or you can taste the uh, a butteriness or what, whatever it is, a lot of macro beers have it. But when they're cold, you don't taste it it's as they warm up. Well, I drink my beers warm. So if there is a fault in it or there is something weird in the flavor palette or anything like that, you're going to pick it up. And, uh... Like I said, I pick up both. That being said, it's not like either is overpowering. And it's not like either is really off-putting. There's a sweetness. There's a butteriness. There's a little green apple taste. And then there's a just biscuity finish. Uh, I can't. I can't in good conscience say that I hate this beer. I can't in good conscience say that I love this beer. I can't in good conscience say much about this beer other than it's a beer. It's 5.5% alcohol. It'll get you drunk. It might, if it is really diacetyl, it might cause a bad hangover the next day. But if it's not really that and it's something else making that flavor, like a yeast ester or something... Maybe it won't. Um, price points uh, for for uh, here in for here in Regina, its price is pretty much underneath most things. I mean, you can get it in a twelve pack, you can get it in a two four, you can get it in a thirty six pack, or you can get it in an eighty pack. And your eighty pack is one hundred and thirteen dollars. Uh, plus your $8 deposit, so I guess $121, which makes it just over a dollar fifty a can. At just over a dollar fifty a can, I could see this sell to a lot of people. If you really just want to have some beers in your fridge, and a two four is normally going to cost you uh, sixty bucks, fifty sixty bucks, why wouldn't you buy eighty of these if they're Theoretically, not much different than buying the the Miller or the anything like that. Um, and I mean, they sell most of their beer in an eighty pack at about the same price. So I mean, you if you're just looking. And there was an interview where Moni had said, you know, he thinks that some of the breweries are scared of him because he can make just as good beer at half the price. Well. From what I've had, I wouldn't say your beer is just as good. I wouldn't. However, buying them in 80 packs, you are correct. You are buying them at about half the price, if not even more than half. Maybe even two-thirds, like a third the price uh, of, of the same amount of 
like a rebellion or a Regina or a multinational or, or a district or anything like that. So, I mean, I can't deny that the guy is right. His price point is, is probably on par to get a lot of people on board. Uh, does that mean I'm one of the people that's on board? Well, yes and no. Uh, I can see myself in a pinch buy some of his stuff at that price. I don't think this would be the one I would get though, but I could see myself buy maybe maybe his espresso or his or his Rattler or something like that just to fill the void of having some beers for a cheaper amount of money. Yeah, it's a lot more upfront, but in the long run it's a lot cheaper, but do I see myself buying this? No, no, not really. Again, if it's cold, maybe I wouldn't taste any of those odd flavors and everything would be good, but where it is, I'll give it a point for each percentage. So it's a 5.5 out of 10 for the Nova Pilsner. So I mean, not a bad beer. You might love it. You're okay to love it. You might hate it. You're okay to hate it. If you haven't tried it, maybe you'll like it and you'll find a beer you can buy 80 of for $121. Cheers. Bye-bye.